John B. Southall, who worked at the station from 1912 to 1925, was the first shell expert to occupy the cottage. Southall supervised muscle surveys in the upper Mississippi and upper Missouri rivers until at least 1925 when he was transferred elsewhere to supervise pond construction. In 1925, Dr. Max M. Ellis began a 20-year-long association with the station. He was one of the world's preeminent authorities on muscle research and propagation and professor at the University of Missouri, Columbia. Dr. Ellis spent his summers here conducting research. When funding cuts eliminated the muscle program at Fairport in 1930, Dr. Ellis continued his research on muscle propagation at the University of Missouri and the newly constructed Fort Worth Bureau of Fisheries Hatchery in Texas, which in essence replaced the Fairport Biological Station as the inland research facility on freshwater mussels. T.K. Chamberlain, director at the station from 1924 to 1930, resigned because of the funding cuts, moved to the University of Missouri, Columbia, and served as Dr. Ellis' assistant for the next 15 years. With the government's emphasis on pond culture to raise food during the Depression, Southall was transferred back to Fairport in 1930 to oversee new pond construction for largemouth bass. It is uncertain if he lived in this cottage, but the cottage was abandoned by 1933, if not sooner. Due to its poor state of repair, the building was razed in 1935.